So when you first start up the app, you'll see our onboarding, which tells you Wago is an instant visual translator for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Uh, second page will tell you it works best on food menus and large signs, not really on congested text like books or anything. And uh, you want to center printed text nice and large and clear within the orange target box. And uh, you get 10 free translations with your trial, or you could upgrade right away. Um, so we'll pick the trial, and uh, we'll have to pick our language first. So Wego can translate from Chinese, Japanese, and Korean into English. So we will pick uh, Chinese to translate, which brings us to single line mode, which is the default mode for Wego. So we'll find some Chinese text to, uh, again, center nice and clear in this orange bracket area. And if it's ever out of focus, you can just tap the screen to force the camera to refocus for you. <coughs> Um, and you see in the bottom here we have this pause button, so that's really useful, so we'll pause the translation. We have these three additional features here. So we have the error button, which if the translation doesn't look right, you could select that and let us know and it'll send us the image. Uh, we have this pronunciation button, which will read the translation for you. And finally on the right we have this ellipsis, which will bring you to our deep translation view. And now here, um, we have some features along the bottom, and if it's a food dish, you'll see we have food images also sourced from the web of, to give you a better idea of, of what the dish might look like if you were to order it. Now you can also tap on the image to get a better look at it, and just hit this X up top when you're all done. So we can exit back to single line mode, and press the resume button. And we're going to change the language, we're going to pick Japanese. And now we can go find some Japanese text to translate. Again, uh, we just want to make sure it's clear and focused and within the orange brackets. So we'll use this pause button again to get a better look at the translation and use these features if we want. So now I want to bring some attention to these tools we have along the bottom of the camera view here. So we have a zoom button, which will go to 2x zoom. On the right side we have a light, which you can toggle between uh, auto mode, off, uh, or on, depending on which suits your needs. And on the bottom left here we have a history button, which will show you history of your good translations. And you can click on any of them to return to our deep translation view. Again, if it's a food dish, you'll see some of the related images along the bottom here. Now you see we have this favorites tab up top too, so let's click on a translation and the star icon along the bottom will favorite this translation for us. Now we can click the favorites tab up top to see a list of every translation that we've favorited. So up in the top right we have this settings gear. And you'll see a list of our app settings, so you can upgrade Wago if you'd like, where you can select one language or all languages for the life of the app. So if you choose the one language option, you can choose from Chinese, Japanese, or Korean, and click the Done button to make the purchase. Now once you have upgraded, you can click on Account, and where it says Trial, it'll say Unlimited, and then list whatever languages you've purchased.